start recording. Good morning, 10.30 and we go live. Can you hear me all right? Is the volume okay? Oh, I know, bit of a scramble. You should see the state of this place. <laughs> mad, mad, mad. But it's okay. This too shall pass. Right. Paul, my dear friend Paul, is in the building with you. Today's a special day. It's a real special day. Paul's in the building with you. He's going to help you if you're looking for anything. Um, yeah, so I've just done an hour on Hachanda, which is uh, at the craft, the craft store. They've changed their name. The craft store at Hochanda. I've been saying <clears throat> that they should be doing that since the day one. I've I've said, why don't we put the word craft somewhere in the in the title? You know, crafting at Hochanda or the craft channel at Hochanda. And um because Hochanda stands for Home of Crafts, Hobbies and Art, which is great if you know, but if you don't know, you know, never gonna find it. So after five years, because it's not that easy to change names of um, companies, they've changed it to the craft store at Hochanda or with Hochanda. Anyway, it's going to be much, much better because people who aren't familiar with Hochanda will be able to find us now. So I know they came under a bit of fire yesterday. Why are you changing? It's like, well, it's a really good thing. It's a positive thing. I'm really happy for, for them and for us as a supplier and for people who don't know that Hochanda exists. It will be so easy to find us now. You know, it's funny because my mum and dad, they never miss a show. And uh, they, because their eyesight's, you know, on Sky and they, they have to, they've got this, um, like they speak into the remote and it, and then it, it looks for and my mum because she's German she's like Hochanda <laughs> never got no chance right and then my dad starts he thinks it's Japanese Hochanda <laughs> so I mean mum and dad it, they, apparently they they always miss the first five minutes because they're going Hochanda <laughs> anyway so they're changing it now to the craft store. My mum and dad are going to be so happy. <laughs> anyway, welcome to the Shack Shack. Safe, happy and creative. Stay home and craft. And today is a special day because it marks a one year. I know the whole world is in, you know, in, in, it's been a year since lockdown. But you know what? It's been a year since Shack started as well. It's been a year since we got together. I think Monday is our official birthday, if I'm not mistaken, but it's like this weekend. So we decided to just, just ramp it up a little bit. And the sale, this isn't just a big money-making thing. We just thought, well, there are loads of people who are not club members. We just had a big club member sale. And we thought, well, there are people that, that might want to buy the Pergamano pencils and they might want to get that set of stamps and they might so let's just put a sale out there and then if they if they want to kind of commit and get really into this this whole shack shack thing then maybe it's a good time to just just buy that's all it's not we don't need you to we just thought we would make it available you know so we're going to have a sale that started last night and it's going to go through till midnight Monday um we've got competitions and quizzes and uh, giveaways. I've got a nice pottery thing on Sunday to give away. I thought that'd be nice, you know, because pottery is something that's come out of the shack for me, out of the lockdown, you know. It's just a feel-good thing, isn't it? Same as on Hachanda. We've just been doing feel-good stamps, feel-good words. Just, you know, it is never the event but how we respond to it that will ultimately affect us. And so we just thought we're going to put a great big feel good blanket over this whole weekend. And that is what we're doing. And we're celebrating because we've been together for a year now. 191 hours. Well, sessions. Mm. It's a long time, you know, 191. <laughs> Who's been with in the shack since day one. Come on, hands up, hands up. Don't be, don't be embarrassed if you haven't, you know. 
Shaq's like Hachanda. If you don't know what safe, happy, and you know, <laughs> it's one of those, isn't it? But you could hardly call it a, what were we going to call it? Um, a safe place to hang out during lockdown. You know, Shaq sounds a little bit more appealing, doesn't it? <laughs> I bet loads of you still don't know what Shaq stands for, do you? You think it's just a shed. <laughs> safe, come on, see if you can remember. Safe happy and creative and what's the other one that's right stay home and craft well done you right come on loads to talk about and we're going to be we're in italy so cool. we've been eating spaghetti all week and pizza my friend debbie from texas <clears throat> she we facetimed yesterday evening and uh, she said she's got a great uh, pizza dough recipe right you ready let me get this right. Two cups, I've got to say it in an American, two cups of um, self-raising flour. They call it something different. Self-rising, they call it. Self-rising self flour. So two cups of that and one cup of full-fat Greek yogurt. She said it's fantastic as a pizza dough. I never thought of that. I know Dave does something similar with naan breads. But, yeah, so... Two cups of self-raising flour and a cup of full-fat Greek yogurt, and then she said a little bit of salt, bit of pepper, bit of bit of oregano, oregano, um, uh, garlic, olive oil. Yeah, I'm going to give it a go this weekend. But anyway, so I digress. We are in Italia, in Venice, in Venezia, aren't we? And we're doing our masks. We're inking up our masks. Before we do that. Right, come on, cup of tea. I'm right hyper. I was I got everything out of the cupboard in that last hour. You should see the state of this place. It looks like a, the proverbial bombs it it. I thought we'd have a look, go back a year. I love going back in time, don't you? Where we've been. We won't go all through, we'll just go to a certain one because I've got something special to show you. Right, you ready? So when it started, when it all kicked off, it was the 30th of March. So what's the day today? What is the date today? If it was the, it was Gracie's birthday on the 23rd, 24th, 25th, must be the 26th already, is it? 26th, so yeah, Monday, see? Right, so this was what we did. Look how far we've come, my friends. And if you're new to this, just bear in mind, every single one of these sessions, I mean, we started out, we're only half hour, weren't we? Right, look, <laughs> do you remember? I remember it so well. I tell you why I remember it. Because I thought we were going to lose the business. It just flatlined. Our sales went like that. And then we realised that you were, everyone was out. Everyone and their brother was out buying loo roll. Do you remember the panic buying that went on with the loo roll? <laughs> and pasta. See, now we can eat pasta. And I've got enough loo roll to keep me going till Christmas. I've still got it from when we bought it back then. <laughs> No, I'm only joking. I didn't panic by about Lou Roll. I did not do that. But I remember thinking, oh dear God, here we go. It's, we're falling apart. And a year later, here we are, still in the shack shack, aren't we? All all right. Well, we are. The ones that are watching this are all right, aren't we? Yeah. So a lot of people weren't so lucky. So, hey, reasons to feel good and be grateful. Look at this. Wednesday the 1st. Do you remember these little? This too shall pass. Didn't I just say that earlier on? Yeah, this too shall pass. So now, a year on, we're getting our vaccines. We need to be so grateful. Hey, look, doesn't that look familiar? Ha! Do you remember? Look, this is what I did this morning on the telly. Well, where do we get these ideas from? Look, isn't that cool? So these are, this is what we were doing. Feel good words. Do you remember the masks? I don't remember. Do you remember the masks? Well, we made stamps to go with them now. Half price. Can't beat that. Anyway, feel good celebrations. And then we did that one. See, this has already come out, hasn't it? Look, let's, you can see what we were trying to do. Look, we didn't know what was going on, did we? But do you remember what we were trying to do, my friends? We were just trying to stay upbeat, weren't we? And hang together. Because we always said, together we're better, together we're safer. Stay home, craft, 
wear a mask, wash your hands. Do you remember at that point we were like, wash your hands for 20 seconds, every 20 seconds. Happy days are here again. Then we made their legs longer. I remember half of you, <laughs> you gave up. <laughs> you said, I can't do that. A bird on the side, impossible. Look, and then we started getting really adventurous. I know. I mean, we've come such a long way. Look, do you remember that one? Little birdhouse, little birds. This was pretty, wasn't it? See, all of these, they're all stamps and groovy plates. And on the website, there's a shack shop. We don't ram it down your throat because it's not the way we roll, but it's there. And from today until Monday, I think all of these are 30% off. Anything to do with the shack shack in the shack shop, anything in the shack shop that's to do this kind of thing is, is quite, a, I think it's, is it 30% Paul? And then 20% on everything else on the website. So that's pretty good if you're, if you're a club member, although you probably just had a big spend up. And now uh, let's have a look at this one. Episode 10, episode 11. Do you remember that frame we did? And you were all like, I love that frame. I saw this frame come up so often in so many places. This was the one, home sweet home. The shack, the shack that Barb built. Do you remember it? Yeah, it was cool. And we learned how to do the shading. See, we were all still, it was all black and white, black and white, black and white, wasn't it? All very black and white. So this is the one, well, let's just stop the bus right here. Right, break on, and break on. Out of gear. Right. This is the one I want to share with you today. Because, check it out, check it out, check it out, check it out. Right. So we've got, and a third one, look, oh, you recognise that from, from our moment of clarity the other night. So these, my friends, are postcards. Look. Okay. Beautiful postcards. Aren't they beautiful? Look. Safe, happy, and creative. Shack. Home sweet home. Right. See, I'm getting all emotional now. Right, so these beautiful postcards, we are going to send one of these out with every order this weekend. That's what we're going to do. These are the ones. These are our celebration postcards to commemorate a year of the shack. The year of the shack. How about that? Aren't they lovely? These two have been made up for us. The, the original artwork's from Dee. She's done a cracking job. And she used stamps because that's what we do, isn't it? So let me just take this away. Let's do this and let's have a look. Oh, where do I put this stuff? Oh, Barbara! I'll tell you what, one o'clock's gonna be interesting. Right, aren't they lovely though? Look, three postcards. And if you're saying, well, can I get them somewhere else if I don't? Well, I tell you what, come into the Shack Shack on Monday. And uh, what time is it on Monday? 10 o'clock. And I've got something really, really fabulous to show you. You, you thought I was going to say something else then? <laughs> no, 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 no. I have my TV filter in, my TV teeth. <laughs> right, so here we go. Come in on Monday and I'll, and I'll show you, I've got, we've got something really, really cool. Something to do with Pinky Grey. Right, so that's that, that's that, that's that. Those are the three postcards. Now I want to show you though, I've got to show you, let me get a piece of card underneath so you can actually see what I'm showing you. All right, here we go. The stamps. We've been saving these for this special occasion. Look. And they are so true to what we drew. They are true to what we drew. And there's a fabulous price on this. And you've got your masks. Thank you. Thank you, Lucy. Right? So what Dee's done, she took these stamps and she made art with these. Do you want to see the... I can't even... Where did I, I did have the originals here somewhere. Ah, uh, je ne sais pas. Anyway. So these are made with stamp art, obviously reduced in size to make them into postcards. These are the new stamps to commemorate the Shack Shack. So if you're a shacker, then you may just want these. And the best bit is, and here's the news, look. So when we built the stamp set, see this is stretchy, bendy. You can, you can bend it outwards. When you get a big mount with it, oh, hang on, I've got one here. 
just want to show you this and then we're going to do our mask don't worry all you sitting there with your venetian masks i've got to show you this though because this is the this is the best bit right here we go see so you can bend it oh, i love it see look 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 look, look. See, so you bend it out you can make it any shape you want you can you can bring it down you can make it woo wah look i know and that and when you stamp it with the black ink pad this is what you get you know when we were you know when we were um <laughs> when we drew it do you remember when we did the the, the the doodle when we did the doodle do you remember you were like oh this is great i like this one i remember everybody really likes this one so so this stamp set as of today is available only for your pleasure nowhere else just with us there you go boom and it's got the house that barb built it's got the fences all the landscapey bits with or without the shack shack look trees after lockdown during lockdown indoors outdoors <laughs> look little birdies it's a real real tribute to the shack right so that's that oh and i can hear you i know is it available as groovy well it wouldn't be clarity if it wasn't there you go look home sweet home so it's available as a groovy plate as well an a5 groovy plate right so that's it that's what i wanted to show you and and this weekend is going to be a celebration of the shack shack and all who sail in her now, where did I put those lovely postcards? Hang on, I don't want to lose those. Mm -mm -mm. Right, yeah, one of each will go out. And no, you can't pick which one. <laughs> we, we're giving them away, they're a gift. You can't say, well, if you're going to send me flowers, don't send me chrysanthemums, I prefer roses. <laughs> Mind you, you can't help the thoughts that come into your head, can you? Oh, no. <laughs> All right, so let's have a think. Is that everything I want to tell you? Which is your favourite? Oh, I can't say really. I haven't got a favourite. I'm thinking that one though. Mm -hmm. They're nice. This would look lovely in that frame as well. This would look lovely in that frame if you opened that up, wouldn't it? But not in black and white. See, this is in black, but you could do this in a beautiful teal or a blue because it's a stamp. You can do it in any colour you like. Result. Okay, so I'm going to put them over there because I love them. I might send a few out. Should we get started then? Yeah. I've, I've calmed down now. I was really anxious before. It's um, just trying to get it right and there's so much going on. And there isn't a sp an inch of where to put something. That'll do carefully withdraws arm so she doesn't knock everything over right you ready and now we're going to relax this is where we do our zen yoga are you ready for your your venetian mask if you're wondering what on earth i'm talking about we got on the old shack shack bus and we went to italy didn't we we went to venice and this week we we doodled half a venetian mask didn't we that's what we did and then we transferred it to the other side so we've got and if you're not sure about the shape we we offered you a free download so this is a free digi download you know that's another thing if you are placing an order say say you're placing an order and you don't usually place orders with us you could you could um how could you do that how could you do that how could you add the digi download to the order if you can't download it. Say you want a print out of it. Is that a possibility, Paul? I know you like a challenge. Because that would be so much better to be able to just pop it in the in the envelope or the box, wouldn't it? See what you can come up with, Paul Church. Right. So we've done that, we've done that, and then we transferred it, didn't we? And now we're using, we did a light pencil transfer. So to do that, we used our pencils. I did put everything that we're using in a little thing because I thought I'll never find it in here otherwise. 001, no, I've got 01 and 05 and um, pencil. <coughs> There's that green pencil, I'm gonna need that later. 
Right, that's it. Wunderbar. And then what I'll do is I'll just get a little bit of stencil card. Tell up. And I'll... Because it's the same thing we're using, isn't it? The big stencil card. She shows you. This one, look. That's what we're using. Available in two sizes. Seven by seven. Eight and a half by 11. Is this in the sale as well? This is 20% sale, isn't it? I don't know, I should have paid attention really when we were having the meeting. Alrighty. Right, which one are we using? Are you ready to calm down with me? 005, I'm gonna use the one. Let's get a good one. These are nice, these pens. See, now's the time. This is all 20% off, isn't it, Paul? Now's the time, if you've been sitting on the fence and watching, this is the weekend to get a, bit, a few bits and bobs. Uh, now, where is that? I'm just looking for something. There we are. Right, makes a space so that she can turn the paper. Am I too far away? I think we could probably come in a bit closer. I'll have to change it when I go back on telly at one. Here we are. Is that better? There we go. Everybody happy? Oh, and you know what we were talking about? The, 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 yeah, there you go. Right. If you, because I know a lot of you are like, you double up, don't you? If you buy the stamps, if you get the stamps, I didn't even, I forgot to tell you this, you get that free. If you buy the stamps, there's a good price on the stamps individually and the groovy plate individually, but if you buy the stamp set, you get the groovy plate free, plus all your discounts. Mm. And Paul says, as far as um, getting the digi download sent to you, if you need them, or when you place an order, he says, add it in the comments. When you place the order, add it in the comments box. So that's easy to do, see? We're a can-do company, aren't we, Paul? <laughs> <laughs> Just say yes, Mum. Right, you ready? So now, calm it, calm it. We're going to do this bit here. Have I got the right glasses on? Right, and straight away, it's a chill thing, isn't it? Isn't that amazing? You just... Put a pen in your hand and then start gently. I find it fascinating how as soon as I start to doodle, I calm down. Forgive me if I'm a bit hyper today. Well, I'm not now, but it's always when I'm on TV Live TV, is, it does that for you. It does it for me anyway. It always winds, winds me up. Not in a bad way. Not at all. It's adrenaline, isn't it? Isn't it? Right, let's have a look. Round we go. And what we're doing is we're just gently, with these pens, with these art pens, don't press too hard. What glasses have I got on here? <laughs> there we are. Yeah, I mean, the shack's been a real lifesaver for a lot of us, hasn't it? It really has. It has for me. I think I'll do this bit. I might come back and do a bit more detail in there. But let's do this long, challenging bit, shall we? Right, here we go. Start up there and then we're going to come all the way down like that. Gently does it. Let's get that out of the way. Get a good sweep on it. Right? Down we go. Hmm. Go again. Do you know what? I've got better glasses than this. Where are my day medners? I need to get my eyes checked, but I, I, I don't even know if the opticians are open at the moment. Do you know that's that? It's just all a bit of a... confusion in my head at the moment. I don't know 
I don't know what we're supposed to be doing anymore. So I just stay indoors and will always wear a mask when I go out. And I think if I stay indoors, and on the very rare occasion when I do go out, I wear a mask and I don't, and I only ever go to my mum and dad, I, I can't be doing it wrong. And if I am doing it wrong, then I surrender. There we go. Nice. This is going to make a beautiful stamp as well. But I'd like this smaller, wouldn't you? I'd like it smaller. Just a little, like that. Yeah. We're very lucky. Cool, it has been a year, eh? <laughs> That's why we've got to celebrate this weekend and, 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 and sing about it, you know? And this little shack shack of ours, this little... You know, it's a, seriously, is a shack shack. This is a, a little room. This is my art room above my garage that we turned into a to, into a, a TV studio <laughs> so that we could keep going, you know. Needs musts and all that, eh? When life gives you lemons, you make a new TV studio above your garage. And we're so lucky, you know, and don't get me wrong, I'm not, I'm not your oh, happy clappy, you know, I find people that are always happy. Um, I, I think, I wonder sometimes if that's even possible, but they must have a very, a very great philosophy. You know, I'm not a happy clappy type. I try, I do try very hard to stay upbeat especially in the Shack Shack, because I think, cool, blimey, hang on, there's hundreds of people tuning in. You don't want to be tuning in to doom and gloom. You you want to tune in to, 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 to be upbeat, to be encouraged, to be motivated, not, you know, listen to my woes. Not that I've got any. And this is the thing, really. When you, this is what I've found, when I've, um, when I've, had me moments, you know, me moments in in the shack shack. Well, prior, you know, and I, I felt a bit low in that. You, you just fake it to make it. And then you just pretend that you're happy. I know that sounds a bit false, but it's not. I just, you know, it's very English, isn't it? Turn the other cheek, put on a happy face, all those expressions, you know. So, and I say, well, I'll fake it to make it. And the thing is, when you do that, You'd be about, ten minutes in, and, and you're already feeling better yourself, because you, you sort of redirected your thinking. There's, a, there's an expression that I love. <clears throat> We've redirected our thinking, you see. And then, and then, and then it's like, well, are you faking it to make it, or is this your reality now? That's what I think. I think then suddenly, you know, I've had some real low points. And then I come in here with my buddies, my shack buddies. And I think, right, cheer up, you miserable cow. <laughs> me, me, not you, me. <laughs> and, then, and then I cheer up, smiley, smiley, smiley. And then by the end of the hour, I'm genuinely cheerful. You know, I'm genuinely, I think most people actually make, if this is even a possible thing to say, but I almost think that most people make up their minds, like I'm saying, how happy they want to be, you know. I'm not talking about clinical depression, it's a whole other animal. I'm talking about when the odds are stacked against you, you know. You know what I mean. You know exactly what I mean. And I know that I can, I can mostly I can I can redirect my thinking and I can snap out of a gloom yeah and I said the I think the other day I said in here it's never too late to start the day again if you get it you get out of bed on the wrong side and you you have a bit of a rough 
That looks a bit ropey, that join there. When it's dry, I'll rub out the pencil underneath and I'll, have an, I'll investigate. I might have to put a little, in fact, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna have to put one of them in there, like that. There, sorted. Um, that's it. Right, I've lost my thread now. What was I saying? Can't have been that important. Here we go. Yeah, I love the Shack Shack. I love it. I love it at a lot of different levels. I love watching, I've loved watching people come in, like I just showed you in that folder, barely able to draw a bird on a wire, you know? How are we doing this? And then, and then just relaxing into it and then not taking ourselves so seriously and not thinking we're going to fail. Do you remember for months I was always saying, nobody's judging you. There are no experts in the building. Just what's the worst that can happen? It's a bit of paper and a pen. Don't worry about it. Just enjoy it. And now I see there are proper, proper artists, you know, like beautiful artwork. And, and I don't feel... I don't feel intimidated by that or anything like it. I just think that's excellent. That's that's what the whole idea is. You know, I'm just a bus driver. Someone's got to do it. Someone's got to be the designated driver, so it might as well be me. You know, I'm no expert. I'm no expert. I really am not. You know that. Christ, if you've been around a little while, you know I'm no expert. <laughs> oh, look, let's do this. Have you got one of these things, these fascinators? They always make me laugh. Sometimes they look great, and other times they look really ridiculous, don't they? <laughs> I was just thinking about sometimes you see women at weddings and you think, you paid for that? <laughs> Shush, Barbara, you're allowed to think, you're not allowed to speak. Right, I love. Do you like? It's looking good. Let's do this bit now. See, I could, I could hang out. I could hang out with you in here. See, no chest pains, no anxious, no anxiety. Just chill now, you know. Isn't that weird? There you go. And you know what the funniest part is? Most of you were in on the Ho-Chanda when we were doing the TV show. And yet that is, to me, like full on. I get so stressed. I don't know why. Is it because it's money attached to it? I don't know. Probably got something to do with it. It's performance thing, isn't it? Or I don't know. Or maybe I feel that here I'm among friends. I feel safer. 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 Maybe that's what it is. It's funny, isn't it? How's your mask looking? Would you wear it in public? Would you, would you, would you? <laughs> Hang on, we need a ruler. Get your Pergamano ruler out. If you're going to buy one, we got them. You get that in the sale. Woo, 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 woo. Right, hang on. That'll do. Yeah, you see? All these lovely things. <laughs> All these lovely things. But at the end of the day, the best part of it is... Should we do this with a ruler or should we do this by hand? Let's do it by hand. Come on, Gray. Let's make it look a little bit more like art rather than, yeah, come on, you can do this thing. Right, come into that so I can get over with my head. That's the key here. Yeah, come on. Keep your eye on the road ahead. I've got a, something I'm excited to tell you about. Okay. So you know me and me pottery. Well, one of the things <clears throat> that I've struggled with f for, for a long time, now, nothing to do with pottery, but one of the things that really I struggle with is my thumbs, right? I struggle with my thumbs. And the reason is because of 30 years of stamping. So it's just the way it is. It's just, it, it, it's, it's, 
like when you do too much groovy, you cramp up. But if you do 30 years of stamping, it starts to, like they get hot here, it gets hot. And I know, you know, and, I, and I've had all the experts telling me, you know, carpal tunnel, arthritis, la 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 la. Right, anyway, be that as it may, I run a stamp company. So what I do is, when it gets a little bit, oh, you know, like, I stop. I stop. And then you'll find, when I'm on TV, I don't do so much stamping. Like, recently, I've been doing more, um, like, you just have to, you just go with the flow. You know, if you can't run, walk. Um, we've been using the masks more, you know? Like, we were using the reflection mask. Didn't that go well? Beautiful artwork that I was looking at. Yeah, you see, so when I'm using the masks, I'm not using my thumbs so much, and then I get relief, okay? And I know exactly, I do know, I know, I know my hands, and they're very important to me. But of course, pottery, I bet Keith Brahma Jones has got dodgy thumbs as well. I was watching him very carefully last night, and he does, he, yeah, I mean, he's got arms like my legs, he's got arms like that, so I reckon that all his, all his work is, it's all up here. I think I don't think he. It's amazing. He's got hands like shovels, and he's got such a delicate touch. I like that bloke. Anyway, so my hands, the thumbs are the issue for me. And and the first thing you have to do when you're doing pottery, the first thing you have to do is wedge the clay. You know when they need it like dough. Well, that hurts your thumbs. I can tell you. That really, that does your thumbs in, the kneading. So I've been trying to knead it with my knuckles. I've been trying all sorts. I've been looking online. I've been watching YouTubes to see how people knead. And See, now I was, hmm. So that's why this week I've been off the wheel, off the wheel, off the wedging, because my thumbs were really getting hot and I thought, oh, this is crap. I mean, this is rubbish, I said. So I thought, oh, don't tell me now. I've got all the gear and now my thumbs have packed up. Because, I mean, what's a hand without a thumb? Do you know what I mean? Not much use, to be fair. So, so I, I thought, well, there's got to be a solution. We'll figure something out. And then Dave, I do love my husband. So I was talking to Dave about it, and I said, my problem is... The, the um, you know, because he said, are you going to make some more tiles? Your tiles are amazing. You haven't, I haven't, no, I've noticed that you're not making any tiles. The reason I'm not making the tiles is because you've got to roll out, roll, watch this, watch. Rolling pin, what I'm using, uh, hurts, right? And you've got to press hard. So I said, I can't really, I'm not, I can't do the tiles at the moment because I've got to press too hard and it hurts. So I'm, I'm giving them a rest. <sighs> It's kind of, the road's narrowing here, right? And um, and so he, right, I'm going to put dots on this. Um, he went online. He's like an online skip diver, right? <laughs> you know what I mean? He's always on in sale forums and on uh, eBay and... He, he's always looking for a bargain. He never pay. He's the it's the farmer in him. He will never pay the full price. He's just, he's not wired like that, you know. And, and I, I, he said, what do you think of slab rollers? I said, oh, there's some really fantastic ones. Rodefeld, I know the brand, right? I'd already done my homework, but they're, they're, they're expensive. And they're like intaglio machines. They're like, um, and this is where he perked up, because I said they look like uh, screen printing or like if you were going to do lino printing. Oh, I wanted to do that one day too. And then I said they're like, like mangles and you, you, you just squish. You just got to turn the wheel or the handle, crank it, and, and it just um, it squishes the clay. And it's always even. You squish it between two bits of canvas and then you get a perfect slabs, uh, hence the word slab roller. So he said, what was the name of the one you like? I said, the Rodefeld is the best one. That's the one that everybody goes on about. Anyway, so Dave, he's found one. He's found one, a second-hand one, 
like the nuts, the big cheese, right? Like fantastic. And it, it solves this problem, you know? Well, it, it, I'm hoping that it will because I'll be able to make slabs just by t cranking the handle. Dave can make the slabs if it hurts that much. Doesn't that look pretty? Hey, I still haven't decided what to do in those bits yet. Um, I need to put some dots in here. Yeah, so <clears throat> so we've got this Rodefeld. We've got to go and pick it up. It's quite a long way away, but we have a van. Yes, sir. -y. It's just a great big table with a mangle on it. And I said to Dave, I can't see why you wouldn't be able to use it for printing, <clears throat> as, a, as a printing, you know, like intaglio. So I'm going to give that a go. Oh, no. All this work I've got to do, and there's so much else to do out there, and I'm never going to get to it. That was that R word, re, re something. I just remember when people get older, something to do with re... What's the word? Retire? I think that's it. Something like that. Retirement? Can't, I can't, I don't know how to spell it, but I know that it, I've got a vague recollection, something about retirement. <laughs> right, I need a pencil per pencil. HB, I'm going to use a fine one. And I'm going to make a, a, a mark through here. Let's do something nice. So I'm actually thinking that I'd like to do, this is where I want to do some detail now. I think circles touching each other like pearls, I think that would look really cool in there. So do I need to do this with a pencil first? I think I do, so I don't want to screw this up right in the middle. Yeah. Yeah, so I've got this brilliant slab roller. I've got to move my motorbike over a bit though, so there's no room for it. Yeah, it's all good. Oh. Nice. So that's going to be Saturday going to get it, Sunday trying to use it, figuring out how it works. Sunday evening, YouTubing how to use a slab roller effectively. We've watched loads of pictures, uh, films and that. I mean, that's the thing about YouTube. It's amazing, isn't it? The, I'm gonna do this as well, I think. I could do that actually with a pen. I don't need to do that. I can do that without penciling it. Um, staying close to the edge. I'm using the O5. You know, I said about re, 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 Paul Wright, regenerate, <laughs> about reinvent or reborn. Oh, I know what I wanted to talk to you about or tell you about. I, do you like Joanna Lumley? I love Joanna Lumley. I've always, uh, she's always been one of my sheroes. Um, I used to really like her when she was Purdy, do you remember in the Avengers or the new Avengers? I, I liked her so much I got a haircut like hers. You know, remember that Purdy cut? Yeah, I really liked her. I still do. Anyway, so we were watching her in a documentary. Concentrate, Barbara, you're going all over the place. Uh, we were watching her in a documentary and she was in Japan. And she was talking to women in Japan. And they were saying, and this is really interesting, they were saying that 33 and 61 are kind of crucial years in a woman's life, right? 33 and 61. Like 33 is a real, like life changing things happen in your 33rd year. There is a massive shift very often at 33. This is true for me. My life changed massively when I was 33. And it took a direction that I've never really, um, I've, I've 
it steered me away from from something and and sent me on a on a new path and it was necessary okay so that's really a cool thing and so I was listening carefully to what she had to say about 61 because I was just 62 last week as you know and she said apparently because I think Joanna Lumley is a few years older than me um, this Japanese philosopher that she was talking to told her that at 61 the Japanese believe that, that we go again we're like literally it's the rebirth so you start again so I'm I'm one year old woohoo <laughs> and, and Joanna Lumley had exactly the same response as me that's amazing and as soon as as soon as it they said it on telly I felt I I felt younger I felt rejuvenated I felt regenerated I felt uh, I thought wow there you go you know in our mindset we always think you know get to 60 and you're over the hill so you're on the way out that looks pretty doesn't it um but what they said was yeah i like that that's going to look so nice when it's shaded they said quite the opposite when you get to 61 it's like you're reborn it's there's a rebirth and since she since i heard that i i have to say I feel less close to the end. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does to me. I thought, that's brilliant. My life just got about 20 years longer. All things being equal, a bit of luck and all that. Right. There. So, I thought I'd share that with you, because I know I'm not the only one that struggles with getting older. Notice I said getting older, not old. And now we're getting younger. <laughs> yeah, but umph. Isn't that nice? Do you think I should put that nose bit in, or should I leave it? Hands up who thinks I should put the nose bit in. Or shall I leave it? Leave it, Grace. I'll fill in. Can always decide at the end. Right, we need a rubber. Can I get a rubber? See, I haven't decided what to do with this yet. So when in doubt, hang about. Make sure there's no dirt on the rubber before we start rubbing out. Uh, still their big, our biggest selling item, you know. <laughs> Rubbers, erasers and nibs. <laughs> Blending nibs. Great, isn't it? See, they'll be in the sale. So it's just things like that. If you want a little top up. You know when we did the moment of clarity? Yeah, you know when we did the moment of clarity and I was showing you... Where did I put them? Yeah, 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 yeah. I was showing you these stands. Do you remember the things that Dave's making? These things. to stand artwork up. Right, look, he, I love him. He's made the big one. Do you remember I said I need a larger one for the 12 by 12s? But what I didn't say to you, because I had a lot going on in my head on Wednesday night, one of the best things about these is they're made out of really, it's the same as stencil card, but a number thicker. So you can get the same quality card, but it's just 400 GSM instead of 300 GSM or 250 GSM. So it's really thick. Otherwise it would all fall over, wouldn't it? You couldn't, you couldn't stand a piece of artwork on that and hope, it, hope that it would stand up. Let's have a look here. Let's take, see this is the big one, right? So we're just going to, I'll show you, if I do that, see, if I do it from the side, you can see it, hang on, there you go, see, so it's at higher now, it's bigger, so these work really well, but what I forgot to tell you was that because they're stencil card, you can colour them, you can stamp them, you can gild them, you can decorate them, you can do a little parchment sleeve. Because see, the reason that we started making these was for um, 
We started making these for the It's A Wraps. That's where this all came from. And I said, we need a stand really, because the It's A Wraps are quite, they're so beautiful. They're Linda Williams parchment. It's all delicate and some of it's cut, Pico cut around the outside. And the thing is, when you when you do that, you see, you, um, with the, with the It's A Wrap, it doesn't, it doesn't stand well because it's all delicately pico cut. So I said, well, if you had a little stand, look, so we've got tiny ones, we've got a little one, and then we've got medium one, and we've got a large one. They're in a set of, you can get a sampler pack. They're, they're quite good, I think, five of each. I mean, they're as cheap as chips, these things. And then we've got the large ones, and then we've got the super duper large ones that Dave's on now. See, so you've got one, two, three, four different sizes. And they come flat packed like that, look, see? So you can stamp them, you can brayer them, you can ink them, you can do grungy, mop up on blending mats, and then these can become part of the art. So in other words, like say I'm gonna go with this one from, from I just happen to have it handy. If this was a canvas or a piece of um, art, See, I like putting cards on little stands as well because it makes them more like framed art than a card, right? So then you decide which one, which one's going to give you the most stability. I could, I could make it, I could put poppies on it. So what I'm saying is when I give it to someone, you could actually give them a little stand with it. So it becomes part of the art. See, I love that idea. Yeah, nice. Let's see. Isn't that nice? Yeah. I mean, why didn't we come up with this a few years ago? Sometimes, all takes time. But, well, so what I wanted to say was, oh, stampers, do doodlers, Zentangle, and here's the other thing, you, you, can, you can sign it, can't you? Created by Jane. We'd love for you by Jane, you know? I think they're great. So there you go. I forgot to mention the fact that they are part of the art. Because I think that's that's key. Now, oh, where should I put these? <laughs> oh, I'll, I'll just put them over here. <laughs> There's a little growing pile going on over here. Yeah. So this piece, for example, you know, if we turn this into an art piece, it'll be really nice on a stand. It just adds value to it, doesn't it? It just makes it look nicer. So I'm just rubbing out the pencil lines in the back before we do the shading, if that makes sense. I can hear the cats outside on the roof. <laughs> I wonder if they'd come in if I, I let them. I don't think they'd ever find their way out again. There's such a mess in here. Hmm. Yeah. They're another m miracle to come out of the lockdown really. I wouldn't have taken two cats on. I wouldn't have taken two orphan kittens on. I'm just looking for my... If if I'd been going to work every day, it would have been, it wouldn't be fair, would it? But because, because I'm at home all the time, I could, I could, I could put my hand up and say, yeah, Gina, I'll take them. I'll take them. I'd love to take them. That's the best thing we ever did. It's great. Yeah. But again, you see, because, because I'm here in the shack, it's easy. I'm, 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 I'm next door to the house, aren't I? So, so they're not alone all day. I mean, you can leave cats alone. No, you can, but not kittens, not little babies. Be neg neglig negligent. I nearly said negligee. <laughs> <laughs> Joanna Lumley is 74 Paul just told me is she actually see what I like about her as well apart from she's so oh, she's just so superb really I love her voice as well and I, and, and she, oh, she's ever so well spoken and she talks terribly well I know um but it's not pretentious. It just sounds so delightful, doesn't it? 
Yeah, she's got a great sense of dress. And when I look at her and I think, she's 74, she's got a figure like that. Golly. See, then I think, well, if she can do it, I can do it. So that gives me another. And, you know, now I'm 61, I'm only a year old and I'm not over the hill, then I'm definitely going to do some more exercise and get trim again. So I look at her and I think, how come she's so slim? You know? And you know that she's not... She's not one of these actresses who has lipo and all that. She doesn't do that stuff, you know. She's definitely growing growing older graciously, as one would say, or gracefully. Mm. This looks good, doesn't it? This looks so nice. So the mega, the big mega mount, the big mega, these great big ones. Look, you know, let me just spit it out. These ones aren't on the website yet. We're still, we're still making them. I've got a few. I could sell these. Look, I've got a few, Paul. <laughs> Dave brings them home to show me. And then we put them through their paces and I say, yeah, that's tall enough. Yeah, that's wide enough. And yes, that's robust enough. That can take any 12 by 12 canvas. And then he goes, good, then I will. And you know what? These are so cool. You know the platen presses, the big windmill presses that we, we've been talking about? Um, these get made on the platen presses. So he gets a die made. There's these, these gents, these old gents in Tunbridge that make proper, the proper dies, like coated with like in sponge and foam and that. So he goes over there, he gives them the artwork, doesn't take them long. And then, and then Dave, he rigs up the, um, the platen press, which is these big windmill presses. And, and these, and then they, and then they go. And Dave's worked out how to put the score in. Um, yeah, it's just, it's, it's brilliant really, you know, that this stuff is coming out of our, out of our sheds, out of our f factory. What, what should I call it? A factory. There you go. Sheds. <laughs> the big sheds. Warehouses and factories. I mean, we're a big outfit now, you know, but Dave's created this fantastic pinky grey print shop and we've got these two windmill presses. One of them's for die cutting. So like Linda Williams, she's got these, you know, the it's a wrap. So Dave's been making um, the card inserts for the it's a wrap. They're really, really nice. Thinner stock than that, otherwise it doesn't fold so well. Um, so Linda and Dave are always talking, making sure that the fold is right. And then he gets the die made in Tunbridge. And there's something very organic about you know you may see this and think ah, made in china not made in china actually made in edenbridge by my husband you know and and the and the the card is from one of peter one of our oldest suppliers that we've known for 25 years really lovely old boy you know it's really It's real. It's real, you know? It's not all pumped out. It's thought through. Right, so. Now we need to shade. So I was thinking that what we could do, we could add color or we could add, we could do shade. And it's 25 past, so I don't know that I want to start now. Do you know what I mean? But this would be brilliant if we could park it, because isn't it lovely? And then I'll, I'll, what I'll do over the weekend, I'll think what I'm going to do in here. So I might have a little practice on my tracing paper and decide what I'm going to do. And then I'll do this, and this will be inked, ready to to move on on Monday. How does that sound? Yeah? That's a good idea, isn't it? So we'll start on Monday with this. And we'll, we'll bring this to a beautiful piece of artwork and then, yeah, and I don't know why I'm upset. It's not, it's not sadness, it's, it's not sadness, it's gratitude. There you go. It's gratitude. I'm really glad for what we do and I'm glad for, for, for how we do it, you know. I'm glad for that and I'm very grateful. And I've known people 
you know, friends who have lost their businesses this year, they just couldn't hold it, you know, they couldn't keep it going. And it's a heartbreaker because they don't work any less than we do. We just happen to be doing the right thing and be able to keep going, you know. We had to lose half our staff. You know, this hasn't been a picnic. It has not been a picnic, you know, but we're here. We're still here and that's so so there you go you know this is why I think I called this chapter 191 reasons to celebrate because well there's thousands of reasons to celebrate but we've we've been going all this time you know all this time and we've kept going and without you there would be absolutely no point so there's loads and loads of really good reasons to celebrate the Shack Shack. And, and let's see, Grace is really busy over in the States at the moment and she's putting together a fabulous quiz for us <laughs> with all the questions. So that should be, a ch that should be fun. Um, it's just going to be great, okay? Don't, don't, just remember, we're here to keep you company and this weekend is a celebration, okay? It's not a ploy to get you to put your hand in your pocket. It's none of that. It's there if you want it, but it's not mandatory. The sale is going on. If you fancy having a little um, a little dip in the, in, the, in the website and have a look at some of the special things, I would say get that new shack, the, the shack that Barb built, because that's pretty cool with that frame. You know, if you're a stamper, you'll love that. And so the Selly Telly, that's at one o'clock at Hochanda. So don't forget to join me again at one o'clock and have a look at when we put these fantastic, um, these word stamps. Light of my life, love, live, laugh. You know, feel good words. And you know what it is, it's that whole, um, do you remember when we did the good people? Oh, we've got to make them into stamps as well, but it's a bit early for Christmas. And it was, um, what was it? Uh, be good, do good, feel good. Do you remember? And that's it, feel good. So I'm going to go and have a cup of tea. Paul, thanks for all your help. Don't forget there's another Digi download from our lovely Hazel Edwards coming your way, all free. Um, after, the, after the shack, Stuart will be downloading that for you. And other than that, I would say let the games begin and let's have a good weekend. Stay safe, happy and creative. Bye-bye now.